Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a value camper. We're taking a look at a family camper. We're taking a, a look at a unit that's dollar for dollar, maybe one of the best travel trailers on the market today. This is a 2022 Forest River Aurora model 28 BHS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Aurora and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at the Forest River Aurora, one of my favorite travel trailers, an entry level travel trailer that just kills it on price point. But before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. wrap it up today here we in uh, Charleston. Yep, last day here in Charleston, but don't worry, in another 14 days, we'll be back. Yeah, so where are so, we going? Where are we going tomorrow? We're gonna be in Myrtle Beach tomorrow. Yes, at so, the new uh, RV outlet, RV there, outlet. That, that super store. Yep. Really so exciting. So we're excited to go there actually yes. as well. So we'll see how that looks in two days. And Will, but before we see how that looks, we gotta see how this looks. All right. Let's begin. Model is Aurora 28 BHS. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 32 feet, one inch. Dry weight is 6,662 pounds, and that hitch weight is 730 pounds. Always use weight distribution bars. Yes. Will, this is the Aurora. This is like a Wildwood. It's like a Salem, but there's something different about it. Do you know what it is? What's that? It's exclusive to RVR. That's right. So it doesn't matter if you guys live in California, New York, Texas, or Florida, or anywhere in between, you guys contact us in this, uh, what's called a private label brand. Right up here, it's very nice looking. I like the name Aurora and I like the color screen. Right. You kind of got like a gray, little off gold and black. Looks really good. Yep. Power tongue jack here, propane tanks here, and your battery goes there. And look at where the battery disconnect is. Very I nice. actually like that spot. Yeah. So many times they'll put it like in here, up there in the center of the trailer. And it's just like, I got little arms. I can't, I can't turn that. Right. Over here, Will, coming on down the side. Bada bing, bada boom. Check out that storage right there, very nice. Manual stabilizing jacks, okay, entry level. And look at these crap steps, Will. Yeah. These are some crappy steps. Look at it. I do not like that whatsoever. Right. Don't get me wrong. You got the solid steps there, which I like. And don't get me wrong. I have no problem with fold up steps here. But for the black ones, no way. Give me the aluminum fold up steps. And the good thing is you can always switch these out for aluminum ones. Exactly. Right here, we do got a nice power awning with LED lights. Okay. And look at the awning change I colors. I saw that, yeah. Very nice. Second door to the bedroom, speakers on the outside there. And then here, we got like a six gallon DSI water heater. Cool. Very nice. And look at these tires, Will, they're the high specs. I love those. ST225-75 R15, very nice. Then you got power and coax on the outside as well. Now, well, this is an entry level unit. So what that means is this is aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing, okay? Right. When you get to the higher end, the ultra lights, they're aluminum framing with fiberglass sides. This is, this is good, this is durable, this is cheap. And if this gets damaged, they can literally just replace this panel. Right. So it's just like the lightweight ones and the fiberglass ones are better, but you look at a 20 year old camper, you don't see very many fiberglass ones, you don't. but you always see these, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Tried and true, Will. Right here we do got these nice slippered solid steps, okay? Off the grid solar package, JBL speakers, little handle right here. And then here, Man, nice little outside kitchen. Yeah. Hot point refrigerator. That's on, it's nice. Little suburban cooktop here. All right, yes sir. Cool, cool. Little bit of griddle. Will loves the griddle. <laughs> and then here we got a little bit of storage. And then they got the Coachman leash link right here. Right, really nice. Yeah. Um, you leash up your dogs there to make sure they don't go running off from the campsite. Coming around the back, dang that, but well, no ladder to get up on the roof. Okay. We do got a nice spare tire, spare tire carrier. Nice bumper here for the stinky slinky. Little spray port there, and it is prepped for the Furion backup camera there. 
coming around the side wheel, look at how beautiful this looks. You know what's beautiful? What? It's plugged in. Yeah. It means AC's on on the inside. 30 amp service right there, cable hookup. Uh, this is where you dump your black and gray tank. I love this, Will. Yeah. I like barely even need to bend down. Outdoor shower, black tank, flush, city water connection, everything. Now, normally I don't like it like this, but again, this is entry level, no big yep. deal. Coming on down the side. Fresh water drain, potable water fill, potable, potable. Nice. Well, well, the outside of this travel trail looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Oh man, what, what a beautiful sound. Right. All right, we'll start up front. Bedroom up here. Should probably turn it off though. No way. No Kitchen, way. Kitchen, living room, dining area. Bunks in the back. Bunks in the back. And bathroom in the back. It is a little loud. Yeah, it's Will. loud. Well, before we show everybody the inside, let's give a big shout out to Lippert. Guys, Lippert has the new Lippert Scouts app. If you guys don't know what Lippert Scouts is, that's their Facebook community, right? And it's on Facebook and they give away free stuff, product help, and it's just an awesome community. Lippert's using business for good. That's right. Now they have the app. Download the app. Now you don't even need a Facebook and you can still be a part of the community, guys. Guys, we're super excited to meet all our Lippert Scouts at the Lippert Getaway Rally. Lippert is the best company in the RV industry, truthfully, and with what they do with the community outreach program and everything, guys, sign up for Scouts. Get right. the app. Get the app, Will. Check out this corner bed. Very nice. Double over double. Yes. Okay. Got a little ladder here, right? A little bit of storage underneath there. And then, um, let me climb on in here, Will. Okay. Oh man, this is real nice. Yeah, it looks like it. You know what I'm saying? Got a little light here. USB. USB and the new um, Apple charger port. Oh, little cool. Window, lightning. Little window right there. Yeah, a little lightning bolt or whatever. Very nice, Well, This is not bad at all. Cool. And then coming on through. Heat ducts in the floor. Carpet on the side. You guys know how we feel. Over here, we have a huge U-shaped dinette. Very nice, Well, Storage underneath there, storage underneath there. All right, we sit here, look at this. Plenty of space all the way around. Nice storage, really, really nice. This does also drop down and make a bed. It's very comfortable and everything. I, I don't know how I like this, but I do like this little light spot Yeah, that's here. nice. It is, Well, it is nice and Again, when it comes to dinettes, I much prefer the U-shaped dinette. Yeah. And then over here in the living room, we do have a sofa right here. This just jack nice down to make a bed. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Real easy. I call this, normally I would call this a two and a half sofa. This yeah. is more like two and a quarter. It is. Drop that down, got a little cup holder right there. Okay. Nice little window and everything, very nice. And then with this floor plan, you got a really good angle to the TV entertainment center. You got the connect TV on the angle, little sound system there, storage underneath, and a fireplace. What's nice about that fireplace, does produce heat based off electricity. And we got even more storage right there. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Let's kick it over to Elijah, the GM of RV1 of Charleston, and see what price he can give us on this exact unit here. Elijah, what is the MSRP of the Aurora? The Aurora MSRP is $47,274. Sale price? $38,500. Super, super exciting. Elijah, if somebody's interested in this unit and they live around the Charleston, South Carolina area or within driving distance, how do people get a hold of you? Just call our store, 843-900-2140 and just tell them you're calling with the Matt's RV Reviews. Yes, ask for Elijah, ask for Houston, the sales manager, and we promise that they're gonna give you the best deal, service, and the best overall RV buying experience. That's right. 
right? All right, well, show us this kitchen. All right, we'll start right over here with this nice big pantry. Very I nice. Love this. this is nice. It may end up being like multi purpose space, you know, top pantry, bottom clothes for the bunk area, um, but it's nice and big. Nice compressor fridge right here. Wow, very nice. Got a little high point microwave there. Okay. Greystone range hood right there. Hood range. And then the three burner uh, Greystone cooktop right here with the oven. Very nice. Right over here. Some nice storage. Okay. Window on your camping side, little spray faucet, and then a nice big single bowl sink with right. the inserts yes and then will you got surprisingly really good head height in here yeah for like sure. it's not curved ceilings but it's like high ceilings right um not tall surface countertops again it's entry level I'm trying to keep the price and the weight down but you have storage nice big storage there a couple drawers here well, well they're not worried about weight on this but they are yeah, worried about price true yep and then what do we got oh we got right more there. over there knickknack patty back that's right and then look, I love how there's USB and GFI power outlets yep. everywhere in here. Cool. Check out that bathroom, sir. All right. Oh, shower top. No, no, oh, nice. Shower top. It's a regular shower. I don't know. It's, it's borderline. just like, it's way too small depth. The height is okay. Yeah, the height's not bad. The width's good, but I mean, even standing this way, I would get water all over the floor. Right, especially with that curtain. Mm -hmm. So I can't pass it, unfortunately. Womp, womp, womp. I will give it credit. I mean, I don't this don't not plan. pass it. Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Don't but, not pass it, but don't not fail it. Yeah, just not it's easy. like it because again, like even on the diagram, it showed mm -hmm. shower tub, and this is so much better than the shower oh, yeah, tub for sure. So it's like a net neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Nice medicine cabinet right there. Little sink. Yep. And storage underneath. You know how many people are commenting right now? What? Matt, don't tell Will how to <laughs> score his showers. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, the curtain sucks and the water is going to get yeah. on the floor. But, I mean, look, look. It shows shower tub, right? It does. Right? Like, and 24 by 40. 20, yeah, see, it's the 24. It needs it to be is. a 30. But, whatever. Nope. Oh, let me sit on it, though. Plastic. Womp, womp. You know what's crazy, Will? What? It's doable. It's doable for poopable, but this is not a prime pooping position. Okay. Womp, 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 womp. Keep you can't give me a plastic toilet, America. That's right. See, especially in this unit, again, they're worried about price, but they're not worried about weight. Right. Should have been porcelain. All right. Coming on into the bedroom. I love how you have a door. Walk around queen bed. Oh, man. Well, look at this. Oh, cool. Very nice storage right here. Yeah, I was not expecting that at all. Yes, sir. A TV does mount on the wall there. And then we got nice storage here. And here. Okay, same thing over here. Yes, sir. And here. Yes. And then um, right here is, you do got bed with a little side space there. Okay. And then storage underneath the bed. Cool. Very nice. And just a nice bath bedroom. And again, I love the second door there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. And I love the one doorway, power and USB on both sides. Very, very nice. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet for the Aurora. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about it, three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Let's do three things we love. First? Yeah. May I? Sure. I love the one door to the bedroom. I love how you can actually walk around, and I love that second door yep. to the bedroom from the outside. Yep, I agree. From the outside. From the outside. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. For me, I'm gonna say the pantry space in here. Again, Talk with this me. floor plan, this is really, really good pantry space. Okay. And it's a bunkhouse unit. You're gonna have the kids with you, friends, family, whoever. You need to be able to feed them. Eat me. Meet me. I must eat. Yes. And to have all that pantry space is really, really important. Yeah. Well, for me, number three is just gonna be the U-shaped dinette. Yeah. That's a big U-shaped dinette. It's nice, storage underneath. 
drop down and make a bed. They really did a good job with that. Yeah. That's three things we love about it. Well, now it's time for three things we don't like about it. May I go first? Sure. I'm channeling in my inner Andrea, and I'm looking at these balances. Yeah, they're weird. Don't like them. Yeah. Don't like this little curtain thing. Truthfully, like that would have looked just fine. It would have. This little curtain thing, I don't like it. I don't get it. I'd rip that sucker out. That is dislike number one. Will, give me dislike number two. Well, I might steal yours on the outside. That's Talk to me. Step outside. Oh, I forgot Again, about that. I don't womp, need double womp. solid steps. Yeah. Those cheap black ones, the, they don't like, cut it. Dude, who even makes those anymore? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, watch Leopard make them, actually. They probably do. <laughs> Still, Jason, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Just don't even sell those to people anymore. Right. Just make the aluminums. Yep. That's number two, and then, well, number three is going to be the uh, carpet here. Yeah. Uh, Shag-looking carpet. Not a huge fan. Again, for the price of this, for the size of this, for everything, it is what it is. Um, But overall, it's just a great unit at a great price, and it kicks butt. That's right. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, we want to thank Elijah from RV1 of Charleston. Guys, doesn't matter where you live. We sell these nationwide. If you're interested, go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We're going to make sure you get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. Will, what do you want to say? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching and following our little tour here in Charleston. Again, we'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike about this unit. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, thank so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.